तो गाइज वॉट यू आर वॉचिंग इज सुदर्शन चक्र विच एज पर द लेजेंडरी ऑफ विष्णु पुराण से दिस वॉज द वेपन गिवेन बाय लॉर्ड शिवा टू लॉर्ड विष्णु in order to fight against the evils and establish the rule of righteousness in the world well this is the legendary story but the question is here do we have any kind of sudarshan chakra in present day india to eliminate the evils and establish the sovereign rule of our country and maintain the internal security of our country as well well we do have it so us while we had lord shiva and now today we have got drdo defense research development organization that has just a day back in our holy site of defense that is the chandipur location of odisha tested into india's very indigenously built integrated air defense weapon system under the mission that is mission sudarshan chakra so guys first of all congratulations to all our dear nationalist patriotic indians we have got our indigenously built air defense weapon system and the mission name is what mission sudarshan chakra right so this marks a significant step in india's multi layered air defense capabilities right and now here we have to go and understand few important features related to our integrated air defense weapon system so technically if we go ahead um now this is not the real uh, video guys okay don't think that this is the real video it's just a graphical representation in order to show you okay that things works like this so we talk about our iadw as the key features the first and the most prominent key feature it is it is multi layered defense system multi layered defense system as in it is having a short range missile system a medium range missile system as well as a defense system that is empowered with laser yes you heard that right laser the laser beams that you have just seen in the hollywood movies or a sci-fi movies well from movies to reality this is where drdo is working it has created the laser system as well and that too totally indigenously so guys remember iadws it is equipped with three layer of defense so the first one is what the qr sam that is quick reaction surface to air missiles okay so as you can see surface to air missile first thing second thing we showed it that is very short range air defense system and the final thing that is the laser that is dew in short we call it dew that is directed energy weapon okay and it now provides us absolute protection from any kind of uavs any kind of aircrafts any kind of cruise missiles along with rcs that is radar cross section targets so this is where we must appreciate and applaud our drdo right and now finally it's indigenous and totally network centric as in simply totally indigenously built by defense research and development organization that is drdo no country's external help has been taken here and apart from that it is equipped with c3i c3i as in the centralized command and control center which enables the iadws to engage with real time targets track them and further going ahead with the coordination in the on ground operations and also it is you know kind of substituting or enriching the already incumbent iaccs that is along with the indian air force simply speaking the integrated air command and control system so with the air force we have got the integrated air command and control system and now this will be actually subordinating or actually supporting to the iaccs that is now it is named as iadws integrated air defense weapon system and now the third and the most important feature of our iadws the successful demonstration that we have seen just a day back so three aerial targets were neutralized by iadws the first one was high speed uav which was neutralized by a uh, qr sam missile system then the second one was multi copter drone which was neutralized by dew dew that is directed energy weapon as you can see a laser being fired from here so this thing that is the laser being fired okay this is how dew works yes 
that's exactly looking like a sci-fi movie but that's the bloody reality now and we have shown this to our not so good neighbors right okay on the western as well as on the eastern side so this is what exactly the la uh, the layer of the laser is that is in india we call it as dew simply speaking directed energy weapon okay so we have used qr sam wishards as well as dew to just demonstrate our uh, integrated air defense weapon system successfully and now this has validated india's capability for simultaneously engaging with the multiple targets and now with this india has also entered the elite list of those nations which are having its own integrated defense weapon system its own along with america there is russia there is also israel and listen and one more thing that is to be noted here guys our sudarshan chakra okay so the mission sudarshan chakra is getting its inspiration from where from israel's iron dome okay so just like israel has got its iron dome india has got its sudarshan chakra right once again the motivation coming from where the vishnu puran and now the strategic significance so here we go the first thing national security obviously it's enhancing our national security capabilities secondly the most wonderful thing self-reliance five years back our prime minister launched the policy the campaign of Atmanirbhar bharat and this mission sudarshan chakra is the best example of it and yes the third and the most wonderful thing is future warfare preparedness well the world is evolving in a quite a huge uh, manner in a quite a swift pace what we can call it and so the geopolitical dimensions they have been created in a very turbulent manner where the rivalry and the animosity between the nations they have sparked quite a lot and they might lead to any time the initiation of the third world war that would be for sure the most lethal one ever so it is also ensuring our future warfare preparedness and finally yes the geopolitical impact with this we have given the befitting reply to the eastern as well as the western neighbors specifically speaking to bangladesh china as well as pakistan and the allied partners of these countries that we are prepared are you let's see we'll compare it with pakistan at the end of this session so the constitutional and policy linkages obviously we have got article 51 sub clause d that talks about the fundamental duty to defend the nation and promote the scientific temper as well so this is where the best example of scientific temper and secondly it is also enhancing our defense procurement procedure dpp of 2020 that will be uh, talking about the boost into the indigenous research and development and finally the third and the most important thing is the make in india as well as idex idex as an innovation for defense excellence so it has encouraged such homegrown innovations right so remember guys dpp that is defend procurement procedure as well as the make in india simply speaking also substituting the atmanirbhar bharat along with idex idex as in once again innovations for defense excellence and now the next big thing here the comparative perspective so this is what you are watching if a city is being attacked by the multiple missiles so is there any chakra that can support yes it's india's sudarshan chakra getting inspiration from where israel's iron dome so what do we have india's integrated defense weapon system okay versus the global systems so it is coming from where iran's oh sorry israel's iron dome but india's sudarshan chakra now there is a catch india's sudarshan chakra is more advanced why because it is not just having the missiles we are also having the lasers that is dew directed energy weapons right and it is complementing india's already bmd that is ballistic missile systems so remember guys this time we are a step ahead from israel okay as israel's iron dome is having only missiles but india's own iron dome that is sudarshan chakra is having missiles qr sam plus vishorits along with the dew that is the laser simply speaking directed energy weapon and now the way forward what's this field deployment in priority zones like on the loc that is line of control with pakistan and along with lac that is line of actual control with china and other key strategic locations as well 
Finally, export potential to friendly nations. We can earn huge if we just export it to our friendly nations only. Like for example, India is right now undergoing with the deal of BrahMos missile systems with Philippines. Around 375 million plus dollars of the deal has already been signed and we are in talks with Vietnam with 700 plus million dollars of the deal to export the BrahMos missile system. And finally, yes, the most wonderful thing is continued research and development in DU and AI defense uh, system will provide boost to the defense system of our country itself. And now let's talk about its comparison with Pakistan. It's more important to compare. So what is India's IADWS? We have already understood it. Okay, once again, full form integrated air defense weapon system. Right, so this is IADWS. Now, having what? The quick range short air missile system or surface to air missile system. Then we have got the very short range defense system. And apart from that, we have got the DU, that is directed energy weapon system as well. And the biggest feature is what? All these works together under one control. Okay, together under one control as in we don't have to provide multiple controls, multiple commands. One control center, one command center. That is known as C3I. Okay, and it's made in August 2025. Why we are highlighting this part here? As the year 2025 has already been marked as an year of skirmishes, along with not just physical war or a battle with Pakistan, but also the ongoing tariffs, tariff war or the trade war with America that can initiate to big scuffles in the very upcoming time. So we have finalized it in August 2025, okay, so that we are giving a statement, a message to not so friendly uh, states, not so friendly countries as of now what we are having, okay, that we are prepared. You dare not, but are you? This is also the question. So what does Pakistan have? So Pakistan basically have, as compared to India's uh, integrated, def uh, integrated defense weapon system, when you talk about Pakistan. So Pakistan do not have any kind of an indigenous weapon system. Okay. So it is having imported from Chinese as well as European countries. So HQ-90, uh, or sorry, HQ-9P, LY-80 and FM-90. So these are the three basic air defense system that Pakistan is having. And literally, remember this thing, Pakistan is having no laser weapons. No laser weapons means no laser weapons. Khaane ko hai laser weapon kya banayega? Right? So mostly separate systems, not fully networked like ours. Okay, they are totally separate and not fully interconnected. And yes, the simple difference. So first of all, IADWS, it's totally made in India networked and has laser weapons for drones, right? Pakistan has bought it majorly from abroad, mainly missile based only and literally no lasers. And yes, the most wonderful comparison. Who is ahead? Is it us or is it this nonsense? Obviously, it's us. So range, Pakistan's SQ-9P that is going ahead with 100 kilometers. But yes, we have got S-400, okay, 400 kilometers specifically. So technology and self-reliance, India's indigenous, integrated and future ready, that is basically lasers plus AI control. And we talk about cost effectiveness. So obviously, lasers are quite cheap, but Pakistan uses expensive missiles for literally every single thing. Right, everyone? So remember, this is what, who is ahead? It's us, obviously. And now this is the time for us to go ahead and understand some MCQs. So this is the question number one for you guys. Okay, so I'll mark this one. Question number one, which of the following features is unique to India's IADWS compared to Pakistan's current systems? Okay, so I've got four options. You know the answer very well. Please do let us know into the comment section. Question number two. Okay, here we go. In South Asia's current context, which feature is unique to India's IADWS test vis-a-vis -vis Pakistan's fielded stamps. So four options again. So you have to tell the correct one. So please guys, let us know the correct option into the uh, comment section for sure. And remember, if you are a serious UPSC CSE aspirant, the resolution batches are on for you, okay? So what do you have in resolution batches? So remember, first of all, 1000 plus hours of live classes. Then you have access to the recorded lectures as well. Then 18 sets of printed books will be sent to you at your doorstep. You don't have to go anywhere to collect them. Further, the teacher's personal class notes that he or she is using to teach you will be sent to you immediately at the end of the session in PDF format. 
Next, do I have the test series in it? Yes, I do have it. So prelims test series, main test series, as well as interview guidance program, everything under one subscription. 75 plus tests for your prelims, around 15 plus tests for your mains, and multiple mock interviews for your interview as well. Okay, that is your personality test. So live classes, books, notes, okay, and apart from that, the test series. But yes, this is not enough. We have got two more extra features here. Firstly, one is to one mentorship program. Simply speaking, you will be assigned your own personal mentor. Okay, the moment you have done your subscription, you have got your subscription, one personal mentor will be assigned to you with whom you can just discuss all of your academics and preparation related issues. And then finally, the most beautiful part here is the MRP. That is the mains residential program. Once you have qualified your prelims, you will be called to Delhi and your accommodation will be totally on us. Totally on us as in, in Delhi's Rajinder Nagar, we will be providing you a separate space to live, okay, equipped with all basic facilities, okay, and the nearby building is our offline classroom center where you will be getting the opportunity to learn from the very same great mentors in the offline mode. They will be there to train you, prepare you and provide you the expert guidance with regard to the mains examination. And guys, remember, we have got the classes in English medium, in Hindi medium, as well as in bilingual medium. And when are they commencing? They're commencing from 30th of August. And we have got multiple subscription plans like the gold, platinum and diamond. And the prices are starting with just rupees 9,999. But you, there is a catch. You need a promo code with yourself in order to get the maximum possible discount. What is the promo code here? PRV Live. So guys, please use this promo code PRV Live and avail the maximum possible discount. And remember, we have got the batches not just only for 2026, but also for 2027 as well as 2028. Okay, so if you're targeting for 2027 or 28 of the examinations, remember, we have got the batches for you as well. Promo code will remain the same, that is PRV Live. So just use this promo code, guys, and avail the maximum possible discount. And before you leave, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button of Study IQS English. You know the agenda of the channel quite well to provide you the quality and quantity of the content right and in case you wish to connect with me so here is the qr code of my telegram channel that is named as praveen underscore study iq or also you can connect with me on my instagram that is with username praveen mishra underscore 2107 so guys this is all okay please connect with the telegram channel at least so that i can share the class links as well as the uh, pdfs of the sessions of our youtube classes okay so here you can get all the uh, study material and yes before you leave guys please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and never miss an update from the channel so thank you dear dio and thank you our dear fellow indians to support our defense machinery in a way that they are motivated in a manner that they are working day and night hard for all of us so our sovereignty and integrity as well as internal security is maintained by our brave heart soldiers those who are fighting at the borders from army to navy air, and air force along with those brave hearts, scientists and engineers, those who are working in the DRDO to equip them with the modern day state of the art tactics as well as the weapons. Okay, everyone. So thank you so much, DRDO. Thank you, India. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat. See you soon in the very next video.